Father Carlos Quijano fled El Salvador during the Civil War of the 1980s. The Jesuit priest shares with the rest of his family a devotion to Archbishop Romero. But he says another martyr, Father Rutilio Grande, has been overlooked. They had there a connection between them, both of them, you know. We cannot explain what happened with Bishop Romero if we cannot talk about the memory of Father Rutilio Grande. No? Father Rutilio Grande, a friend of Romero's and a fellow Jesuit, was the first priest to be killed in the conflict which became El Salvador's civil war. On March 12, 1977, he was gunned down along with two of his parishioners. Their bodies rest together at St. Joseph Church in El Paisnel, El Salvador. Father Quijano agrees with many Salvadorans that Father Rutilio Grande led the way for Archbishop Romero's martyrdom three years later. He created the conditions for that what we call the conversion for Bishop Romero. If they were not killing Father Rutilio, I, do be, I don't believe that we could have a saint like Romero. Pope Francis has recently voiced support of Father Rutilio Grande's cause, giving it new momentum. And the case for Rutilio, I think, is an, another way to be grateful for the memory of those Christians who were killed because of their faith. Father Cano says that the beatification of Father Grande would be an important way to honor the martyrs of El Salvador's civil war. It's very easy to say that they were killed because of their political motivation or because they were participating in the civil war. But no, they were Christians and they were targeted because of their faith and their commitment to be part of the, the life in the church in El Salvador. Pope Francis has reportedly said that Father Rutilio's first miracle was Archbishop Romero. In Jackson Heights, Conrad Aderer, Currents News.